Alright, so with the influx of new players hitting the game uh, due to the release of the anniversary, I thought let's update the coin shop guide. I made a coin shop guide so long ago, it was like when Global first came out. Um, and I haven't updated it ever since, so I think it's a good time to update with the release of the first anniversary for Global. Now, don't let, <laughs> don't let this Gloxinia, uh, you know, unpurchase distract you from the, from the fact that, you know, he's a pretty good unit. And I'll be talking about him in a second. It's just that my Global account, I try to be as optimal as possible. So I haven't ar gone around to, like, buying his dupes, but he's a really good unit. But starting, you know, from the friendship, let's start from the, uh, the, the lowest of the lowest of tiers for the coin shop. Uh, as a general sense, coin shop is one of the most important things in the game. You should be, you know, managing resources and buying uh, stuff according to what you need, but in the friendship coin shop, I, I generally use it for, you know, PvP stamina, but honestly, the best things to buy is AP pots and especially the event dungeon key bundle. Event Dungeon Key Bundle gives you SSR pendants, which is very, very needed, especially for a new player. Also, if you're a new player and you start in the game now because of the release of the one, hi, please subscribe. I upload three times a day or more about this game, specifically this game. Sometimes other stuff, but very rarely, so just, just mainly this game. Uh, and that's essentially it. Never buy just these R units. Uh, on the release of the Japanese version, you could only buy this unit from the coin shop, so you had to buy it here. But when I, I believe when Global came out, uh, they were like, ah, nah, you don't have to. And, and you pulled them from, you know, just summoning in general uh, in the game. And now to the part of the summoning coins. So silver, gold, and platinum coins, of course, you can only get by summoning, which it's fine, um, with the with the free gems you get in the game, you get like a very decent amount of free gems if you just play the game as, as you know, entire, as its entirety, and um, in the silver coin shop, I would recommend to never buy the SR units, uh, you always pull a bunch of them by summoning, there are only a few SR units in the game, meaning that you repeatedly pull these SR units multiple, multiple, multiple times. Maybe you see like, oh, Green Girl Thunder is an unironic, very good SR unit. So maybe you want to get, you know, a few dupes for, for him uh, already. You know, maybe you're just starting to see how good he is. Oh, I want to get some dupes for him. It's not worth it. Uh, you're going to be wasting coins that could have been going, going for AP pots. Or, oh, sorry, in, on global it's called stamina pots. Uh, stamina recovery potions are the best thing to buy in the Arcoin shop. It's not, it's not even, there's no comparison. The second best place, I would say, is the event uh, Dungeon Key Bundle. Because I am a whale, I do buy this way more often than Stamina Pots, because Stamina Pots I get from bundles, but as a general sense, Stamina, po stamina Pots is like the best thing. It just refills your whole stamina. Honestly, it's the, when I started playing the game like a year and a half ago, or way, way more than that, well, uh, yeah, like a, a year and like three months ago, something like that. Uh, this was honestly one of the things that brought me into the game. Being able to recover your stamina so easily without having to pay, like, uh, you know, a premium currency like gems is something that not that many other games have, and the abundance that you get from Grand Cross is insane. Like, on Do Dokkan just got, if you play Dokkan Battle, the, the Dragon Ball game, they just got, like, that meat system, but when, when, you know, I started playing Dokkan, you had to use premium currency to refresh stamina in basically every other game I played. So this is like one of the best features they have, honestly. And you can buy, honestly, use all of your R coins in here. Or, again, Event Dungeon Key Bundle can be very helpful in the beginning of the game because, again, those SSR, SSR pendants can be very annoying. I don't recommend buying, honestly, anything else. Even the tickets, you might think, oh, summons, 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 but as a general sense, you get shafted. <laughs> These tickets have terrible rates, uh, even though they have like fantastic units, right? They just have terrible rates, so you'll probably get shafted. Moving on to the gold coin shop. Now, I haven't mentioned it yet, but of course, with the summonable coins, you can use them for Super Awakening, which is a extra awakening on your character. And as a general sense, I would say the best function for SR coins is Super Awakening. Now, I'm not gonna get into that because it's a different topic, but I would say don't be hesitant to use SR coins for Super Awakening over buying stuff in the coin shop. I use SR coins for Super Awakening all the time. I never have SR coins on my GP account. 
my Japanese account, right? Because I only use it for Super Awakening, basically. Um, you never really want to use SSR coins for Super Awakening because SSR coins are so premium in comparison to SR coins. Um, and I would say, in general, when you're out of Super Awakening coins, use SR coins instead. But it's in the part of the coin shop, right? The best things to buy, honestly, are, I would say, avoid any unit except Jericho currently. Every other unit in the coin shop is very outdated. I was going to say Arthur is pretty good, but currently, not really. Maybe in some PvE activities it can be good, um, but honestly, Jericho is the best way to go. Maybe Arthur is if he's like, you know, discounted and you haven't pulled him yet, you just want to get your first uh, new King Arthur here. But the SR coin shop honestly deserves new units. Um, we, we should get some more SSRs for the SR coin shop. But as a general sense, uh, Jericho is the best unit in the coin shop currently. Uh, all these other units are just incredibly outdated. But I'll say Arthur is still a very good purchase as well. Just it's very specific PV activities that would require him. And SSR, if, again, if you're, if you're a new player, SSR pendants are very good from the SR coin shop. It's just. It's way better than buying them with um, SSR coins, you know? Um, but again, Super Awakening is what I use SR coins for the most. But SSR pendants and Jericho and Arthur, I would say, are the best things to buy in the SR coin shop. Now, moving on to the best part of the coin shop, the Platinum coin shop. Now, I have a list here of, you know, what units I think should buy uh, first, but before that, never. Ever, 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 ever buy anything that isn't a unit here. You may be very tempted to buy tickets, but trust me, it's a trap. It's not good. I've like, <laughs> I I've been so shafted by tickets. Just buy like I spend like 30, 30 SSR coins. Do like 10, 10 summons on the part shoot ticket and don't get the unit that I want, and I just, I just get 10 coins in return. You know, it, it's, it's just not very good. Of course, there are a lot of units in the part shoot tickets that are very good, but as a general sense, I will say stick with your coin shop units when you're talking about your coin, your SSR coins. You know, coin shop units are fantastic. It's way better to buy a really good coin shop unit than to gamble and try to pull a good summonable unit, which you'll probably get a bad summonable unit. It's just how it is. Especially SSR pens. Don't buy SSR pens. It's just, the price is just too much. Uh, one SSR coin for one pen is just too much. Anyways, let's start talking about the units. Now, I have a list here. It's, it's, don't trade it as much as a tier list as a recommendation, really. But, because I, I wouldn't say necessarily that I don't know, Astorosa is infinitely better than Blue Fraudron, right? Because there are situations that Blue Fraudron is better than Astorosa. Just, you know, as a general sense. Um, I would say these are must 6 6 units. These are just the cream of the top of the coin shop, especially Red Gelfer. Uh, of course, there is a power crap Gelfer in the game, the Green Gelfer, but I would say Red Gelfer is still fantastic. His attack seal is amazing. Rank Up is the best card in the game. It's. I don't think they'll ever make a card better than Rank Up. They released Red Gopher basically with the game, on the Japanese version, and ever since, there hasn't been a single card they ever made that was better than his blue card. So, Red Gopher is the best unit in the coin shop, followed by, I would say, Dro. Uh, either Dro or Estorosa. Currently, right now, in the meta, Estorosa is way more viable than Dro, just because Ascanor gets a little cucked by Estorosa, but... Draws fantastic, and uh, a max unit that's coming out for global, Assault Meliodas. If you want to summon for Assault Meliodas, be of note a few of these coin shop units will, will be on his banner, but Droll is the best partner for Assault Meliodas if you want to summon for him, so I'll say he's a really good catch, and also he's Red Zaldris. Red Zaldris is a fantastic unit. Now, uh, Blue Skinny King, if you asked me like two months ago, I'll say like he's a must. But currently, he is a little off meta, but he is very good. You get a free copy of him on story. But, you know, getting dupes for him is good for his ultimate. Uh, so he's a really good unit. Green Merlin is a really, really good unit. Uh, I'm not gonna go in depth, like, too in depth with the units. I'm just gonna give the recommendations in general, but Green, Green Merlin is a really good unit. Melascula goes in the same treatment as I said about the Drow and the uh, the Zeldris here. She is the best... the second best partner. 
for Assault Meliodas, which is coming out in about a month for Global. So again, if you ever plan on running Assault Meliodas when he comes out, Red Melascula is a must 6-6. Six six. Uh, she is. But, you know, if you don't intend to, uh, it, not, not that much. Uh, after you're done 6 6 all these units, then I'd recommend buying, you know, the bottom here. Um, you know, DN is very good, but, like, she 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 is a, a good unit that I just don't see play. Uh, I, I would say that. But she, I would say she's decent. I just wouldn't recommend buying too much. Red Escalator is off meta, but he's quite decent in a lot of PvE activities, that's why I even kept him up here. Uh, Monsby is just a really fun unit. And Dariari is a very good unit for Assault Meliodas, but as a general sense, she's worse than Melaskal and Jerome and Zeldris. Now, the bottom here. Now, Fraudrin, I would say, is um, a unit that you should you should buy a copy of him. You, you should buy a copy of him. Now, I would say hope to pull him in the banner, like uh, Assault Meliodas uh, will be coming out and he is going to be in Assault Meliodas banner, or he will be in other banners as well, but... In a general sense, I'd say hope you pull one copy on the banner instead of pulling him, because he's a unit that's supposed to only be a level 1, uh, because he wants to die. That's his whole purpose on existing, to die. So you don't want to give him dupes. You don't have to. You never use his ultimate. And if you use his ultimate, it's not to do damage, you know? You're not going to do any damage on anyone, because you want to have the least stats as possible on him. So he's a unit that you should never buy dupes of, ever, ever, ever. You should only get one copy and just stick with that one copy as a level one. Uh, Bond is just really bad. Red Milius is also really bad, and so is Red Gallon. Red Gallon, I would say, you can make him work, but he's just, he's just really bad. These three units, I would say, are the only coin shop units. I would just say are actually bad. Uh, every other unit has their own thing, you know. I mean, even Red. Mm, they're just bad. You can you can make it work on like a low tier PvP, but they're just bad. So that's that's it for you know recommendations to coin shop units. But you might ask, and I get that even even to this day I get people asking, how do I get these coins right here? So you can see these are other units that aren't coin shop units. These are summonable festival units. Every single time a festival banner rolls around, currently we have Ascanor, right? Ascanor is the festival banner currently in the game. Uh, the featured festival units in the banner that are that isn't the new one will be in the coin shop for the price of three festival coins you you get festival coins by summoning festival units a regular ssr unit will drop you an ssr coin and you can use the star coin however you want a festival unit will drop you a festival coin now a festival coin is the same thing as a dupe so you in general would prefer giving that dupe to that new unit other than using that dupe to buy dupes of other units. Unless you already have the unit 6-6. If you already have Lost Vein Meliodas with max dupes, then if you get more copies of him, yes, exchange for another unit. But if you don't have any, like any festival unit, you want to get give them as many dupes as possible and not use their coins unless they are maxed. So currently we have a really bad economy on these. I think they are really poorly executed. Um, but in a general sense, you could pull a bunch of old festival units and skip a festival banner that you just maybe want to save your gems for the next one. And when that festival unit is back featured on another festival banner, they're going to be in the coin shop and you can buy their, their you know, copies in the coin shop in exchange for other copies. Very complicated, I know. <laughs> I talked a lot, but... That's, uh, that's just how fast we need to be. That's why I pulled up Global instead of the Japanese version, because uh, they had this tab right here and I wanted to explain that. But yeah, that's the festival... I'm uh, sorry, that's the that's the uh, the coin shop currently on, you know, Global and GP, I would say, are very much the same. Uh, you know, these units go back and forth on the meta, and, you know, maybe in a month, let's say, Blue Skinny King could be the best unit in the game again, who knows? But Currently as it is, that would be my recommendations, just a quick, again, this is uh, my, uh, my buying list. Alright, that's it, thank you guys for watching, and uh, yeah.